Residents at the Khoi Phu Garden have 45 days to leave their homes. One of the building's blocks at Sun Q close to the Aligura Theatre is considered unsafe and it's going to be demolished. Residents say they feel neglected by the government as it is making them pay for the demolition. Lawmaker Parara Coutinho called out for a new investigation. First, it was a Sun Garden. Now it's the Khoi Phu giving the government quite a headache. Cracks are visible all around the third block of this San Kyu building. Yesterday, the Public Works Bureau announced its second report over the safety of this building, and it is now listed as dangerous. Residents have 45 days to leave and also pay the demolition bill. Mrs. Poon has been living here for 10 years. But once she knew back in October last year, it was not safe she left. Despite having a home at Khoi Phu, she still has to pay 6,000 patakas rent elsewhere. I have been thinking of finding an engineer, but it's a matter of money. We aren't sure if 20 or 30,000 is enough to hire an engineer. It will be even harder for us if we need to take it to the courts. But Mrs. Poon has no choice but to ask the government for help. We hope the government can hear our concern, but they've never done so. Now we are back at square one. Our home has to be demolished. We felt so helpless. According to the official report, it's the illegal structure on top that caused the building to tilt. But some owners stress that the illegal structures already existed when they bought their flats. The building was all good before the construction started, but now the building is about to collapse. They blamed us for the illegal structures, but actually the structures were added a long time ago. Lawmaker Pereira Coutinho called for a new committee to investigate. The machine has cracked the wall and reached flat A on the third floor. Luckily, no one was injured or suffered any huge loss. But what has the Bureau done? Have they actually stopped the construction? Some residents bought units here through mortgage loans and have stopped paying them. But they say banks are not sensitive to their problem and have been chasing them for arrears.